All right, team, let's hit this second half of Older by Lizzie McAlpine. We're jumping right in. That was the most cold open I think I've ever had. <laughs> Basically what we've done, we've listened to the first half of Older, um, and we are going to settle on this this back half of the album and um, talk about it. Here we go. Track number eight is Drunk Running. What did you mean when you said that you were sober now? Mm. And even when you break your leg drunk running, someone ought to hold you to your words. Wow. I love this progression. Oh, little glissando strings pulls at the heartstrings. What if it was all my oh. fault? What if I drove you to it? There will never be a song that isn't effective where like the drums come in halfway through. I just like every time I listen to it, even if it is overdone in some sense, hits every single time. Hormonal context. Yeah, that lower octave harmony is really good too. Love the strings. What do I don't like the strings? Sonically, so cool. Wow, nice start. Track number nine is Broken Glass. Broken glass on the table. Pick it up, hold it to your throat. Damn. I can oh, quick side tangent. I broke. I don't know if I, the, I don't know if the Vermont mug made an appearance. I bet the Vermont mug made an appearance on this this channel. Usually it's the Manchego mug, but when the Manchego mug is dirty, I have a Vermont mug. This big green fat mug. Um, if anyone finds a video of me drinking out of that mug, let me know. I was washing the dishes and I shattered the mug and cut my hand open. And it's doing better now. It's been a couple days, but it was really sad. Sorry, that doesn't really matter. Yeah, broken glass. Yeah, you know, right? You, you saw where I was going with that. All right, let's keep going. Drop of blood on the carpet. Didn't think it would go this far. Oh. Wow, that Maybe piano line. It doesn't matter who the blame gets assigned to next. Nothing's ever the way that I remember it. Again. I love those distorted drums. That's such a cool tone. I want Whoa. You it almost feels like broken glass, that's what it sounds like. Wow. 
Wow. That was a really cool one. I love that. The contour of that one was super, super dope. I'm obsessed with the drum tone. The way they mix that was wild. Track number 10 is You Forced Me To. You're on top of me and I'm under you and it never stops. I am guilty. Are Feels almost Beatles. This is ridiculous. Wow. I've said wow before, or like after every single song, I know that. That, my God, like the, the super tight harmonies in that. Really creative songwriting. Holy crap. That might be my favorite one. This back half, super solid. All right, track number 11 is older. We have listened to this song, but I'll take another listen. Go check out the video with, with uh, Dan and Mark for this one too. Stuck in loop. Oh, she sings stuff. The curtain come down. Thought it be over by now. Thought you would leave. I wish I knew what the end is. It's such a trance inducing like performance. I love the reverb on this too. Her voice. Wish I was stronger somehow. Wish it was easy. Mm. Oh, I love that so much. I wish I knew what the end is. Yeah. It's just beautiful. There's so much truth in the song too. Again, just like the fear of time and the fear of the unknown. Very, very real, real concepts. All right, moving on. Track number 12 is better than this. this woody guitar tone. What if I'm not a good person? You always say that I am. Oh. You don't really know me at all now. I think that I'm not who you think I am. Someone 
the complexity of it all. <laughs> um, I felt that one in my, my soul, you guys. Just like, you know, when you, you love someone, you commit to them, it's the most beautiful thing and the scariest thing at the same time, because then you feel like you're, you're responsible for being incredibly vulnerable with them. And even sometimes like when it's someone that you really, really care about and know that they care about you too, it's difficult to allow yourself to release and be vulnerable in that sense. And that's just the complexity of like love and relationships and the, the reality of knowing that there's someone better for that person you care for out there and vice versa is the most depressing but at the same time the most relieving feeling in the world and that's why it's just so intense um and that song really kind of like summed a lot of that up jeez we've got two songs left how are we going to finish this off let's find out track number 13 is march <laughs> Trying to find the lesson in it all. This piano is gorgeous. I haven't learned anything. Maybe I just see him in everything. <sighs> and how could it take so long? Thought I had it handled, but it slipped through. I didn't know it'd be this hard. So far away, and then it hits you. Oh, my God, didn't know it'd be this so far away, and then it hits you. So far away, and then it hits you like it was yesterday. Had me for a minute there. <laughs> Yay, emotional Zach. <laughs> it's always about the dads. It's always about the dads. Damn. All right. Okay. That's all fine. That's all right. That's okay. She's really pulling out the heartstrings with this. <laughs> all right. Final track is track number 14. It's called Vortex. Let's take it home. some drums. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> I can't stop shaking my head. <laughs> like... Oh. Had to let it sit for a sec. That was one of the, one like, not the most energetic, but in my opinion, one of the most powerful final songs of an album I feel like I've ever heard. Giving just that extra two minutes to just water it all out and let it build into this, this beautiful organism, you know? I just like felt like everything was kind of coming to a conclusion in that, you know, after pretty much every song, except for, I, I think like maybe All Falls Down was the, and maybe Broken Glass were the more energetic songs from like an album of a lot of like slow ballads, which is obviously Lizzie's feel, but like very consistent in that sense. It just felt really good to kind of conclude with that. Like this is everything type of feel. Um, if that makes any sense in the world. Um, this is incredibly different than Five Seconds Flat, and I think both projects are so beautiful in their own ways. Um, it just feels more organic and raw for Lizzie. I think she was kind of striving away from that traditional pop sound, um, which I can absolutely respect. I think that's super, super cool. Obviously, like, the, there aren't many energetic bangers. Like, we had a lot of, like, you know, Doomsday and Erase Me and all that stuff, and that's just what we're familiar with. But um, someone in the comments that I had talked to, they, they put it really well. It's like, it's definitely one of those albums that it's going to take a few listens to really, really dig into it and be like, wow, this is a masterpiece. I mean, one listen through for everything that I heard, I'm, I'm blown away, and it's seriously, like, a super, super successful release. But I'm definitely going to want to go back and listen to it and kind of just like really hone in on everything she's saying because there's absolutely a story there. Obviously, with her lyrical genius, gen, gen, geniosity, that's not a word, is it? Is that a word? I don't know. You know what I mean? Her lyrical depth. Um, There's a lot to unpack. And I think it's absolutely worth a re-listen. But that's the album. That's Older by Lizzie McAlpine. I'd love to know your thoughts in the comments. I really had a good time listening to this. Um, Could really resonate with a ton of it. Um, And I'm curious to know if you guys did too. Yeah. Just super happy for her for another incredible release. And uh, I'm excited to see what the tour is like. I think it's going to be really powerful. I think it's going to really mean a lot to a lot of people, as Lizzie does. And um, yeah, let me know if you like this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe if you want to see more. Uh, I'm doing a lot of these reaction videos. Um, and if you go back and look at a couple videos of me, Mark, and Dan, it's a lot of fun. Um, we're just trying to build this community, discussing music in the comments, and just having a good time. Low-key, good vibes. That's all it is. All right, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.